Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long guys. I'm going to show you how to cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. Come join me. This is Asian at home. Today, I'm going to show you how to make fresh Vietnamese rolls. Um, if you go to a restaurant, you can find the menu says summer rolls. That means it's not deep fried, the spring rolls. And that has lots of fresh vegetables and to me, lots of fresh fruits. It's so good. And you can put fried tofu, you can put shrimp, you can put whatever meat chicken or pork, whatever meat that you'd like to put it in. And this is rice, rice paper right here. We're going to roll it in, in this paper. This is very thin. Can you see me? <laughs> this is a very thin, kind of see-through, but not as see-through as you can see my face. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you how to uh, prepare this later. And here, all the foods ready to go. I cooked already. This is extra farm tofu that I cooked already. I cut a little less than half inch. I seasoned it with the salt. I deep fried it in the peanut oil. I fried it six to seven minutes each side. After you done, it look like this. It's very hard outside, but it was still soft and juicy inside. It's very good. You will surprise how good this is. In, if you're a vegetarian, this is very good. And how I'm gonna prepare this? One long strip, so it's perfect size to put on this rice paper. <laughs> All right. And the one more thing that my Vietnamese rolls is self-service. You got to roll by yourself if you'd like to eat it. I'm not gonna roll for you. <laughs> so if you are invited to my house to eat Vietnamese rolls, that means you're going to work on it. <laughs> And I cook the shrimp already, a little bit of boiled water, just cooking one and a half seconds, two minutes, and put in the ice water. So they're going to stop cooking and they're going to like nice tangle tangle. How do you say tangle tangle? Like nice texture. It's not gooey or anything, it's just so good. Okay, I'm going to put shrimp right next to food. I'm preparing this dish for two people. I cooked the egg already here, kind of you cook like an omelette. I cooked the three eggs, beating in salt and pepper and a little bit of water, kind of tablespoon or so, and beat very well and cook on medium heat. And I'm cutting long strips. This is I showed you before at the kimbap video too, right? And I'm going to put all together because this is kind of a little long. Great. I know you might think this is a little strange to put the egg in the spring roll, but you know what? This is so good. You just follow me. This is not traditional Vietnamese rolls, but this is my Sun Kyung Long as the Vietnamese rolls, and you try it one time, and this will be the best spring roll, no, best summer roll that you ever had. I promise that to you. This is so so good. And now I'm going to prepare some sauce because I want the sauce kind of sit it down and get ready, get together before we eat the Vietnamese rock sauce, spicy and sweet and salty sauce. And this is the palm sugar from the palm tree. Just break down a little bit. I'm going to use um, around one tablespoon. Why I'm using this? Because I have to mash it up. And here, I'm going to put some pineapple juice. And I'm going to put this pineapple in the summer also. So pineapple gives very nice, sweet, and kind of tropical feeling. So good. And I'm going to put some lemon juice. Half of lemon juice. A little tangy sour. You can use a lime juice too, but I think pineapple goes lemon better. I'm going to ground a little bit. 
And if you cannot find the palm sugar, just use a regular sugar, it's totally fine. You don't have to use lots of sugar because pineapple juice is already sweet. What I'm gonna put it in is season up and spice up. Hi, chilies! Oopsie! <laughs> They're trying to escape. I could put it in here too, but I'd like to have they are all the same size. And if you'd like to take out the seed, you can take out. I'll show you one how to take out the seeds. Just cut it up, uh, cut up the head a little bit. And kind of roll it like this. And see? One more time. Ta da! No seeds in it anymore! Easy, huh? But I like all the seeds in it. If you don't like too much spicy, this part you can control by yourself. If you don't like this much, don't put as much I put. Just put like one or two of them. See here? It looks good, huh? Yeah, totally refreshing. In the springtime and the summer is coming, I've got to make this Vietnamese summer roll because they are just so good when it's a hot day or kind of warm, sunshine. It's so much refreshing. Here, I'm going to put some uh, fish sauce, one tablespoon. My sauce. This is fish sauce with the Thai chilies. So this is kind of a little spicy and sweet and tangy sauce. So good. I'm going to show you how to make the peanut butter sauce. What you need for peanut butter sauce, this is so simple. The simplest sauce you ever seen. <laughs> I'm going to put three tablespoons of peanut butter and I'm going to use Three tablespoon of honey. So it's a one to one peanut butter and honey. Then I'm going to use some soy sauce. One and a half teaspoon of soy sauce. Three tablespoon of peanut butter and the uh, honey. And I need a warning this part before you make a mistake. Don't use the natural 100% peanut butter for this sauce then you're not gonna see as same result as I'm seeing right now because that one going to get like hard rock peanut sauce. Mix it very well. Like so. I'm going to put this sauce, the same uh, sauce dish. Sauce number two is done. Now I'm going to put some of these vegetables on the dish. This is a nice spring mixed vegetable. You can use iceberg too. Just slice it very thinly. It's got to be have greens. And if you'd like to put it in, you can put some uh, bean sprouts. That is really good in here too, like crunch crunch. I'm going to slice some bell pepper here. The color or the different color vegetables are really important in this dish. But you can see the inside. I'm going to slice it. So we're going to have nice red and orange. And here, another green and white cucumber. I don't recommend regular, regular cucumber because the skin is uh, so big and too much seeds. Try to find uh, some English cucumber or pickling cucumber. Really perfect. Cut in half and slice. This is a little funky part. Banana. I know it sounds very weird. I'm pretty sure that not lots of people had a banana in the summer roll. The banana is my secret ingredient in my summer roll. It's going to give nice creamy sweetness and the body to the summer roll because as you can see I didn't prepare rice noodles in my summer roll. I like banana better than rice noodles to be honest with you. So if you never tried banana in your summer roll, just trust me. Just close your eyes and taste it. You're gonna fall in love. Here little bowl is for the pineapple. I cook the chicken, kind of one 
cool chicken breast. I cut it half a butterfly and I put salt, pepper and the garlic powder. It's a little bit of flavor in it. I cook three to four minutes to each side and I put a little bit of water and I steamed it to cook all the way through but not dry out. Half of it, a little diagonal angle. You can prepare uh, pork if you like to. Chicken is not only one option. Mm -mm. You put whatever protein that you'd like to eat with it. There's really not only such a thing that you have to eat this way or you have to put this. Just try to find your favorite flavor. This right here. This is my best combination that I found. I ate like 100 times. I tried different stuff. I tried even bulgogi in it. It was so good too. But just try everything. I will come back with the hot water and the rice paper and I will show you how to roll it. I boiled the water already and I put in the little big uh, white around the bowl. What I'm gonna do first is Put in the rice paper. Be careful because the water is hot. Put in the rice paper into the water. They got soft. Move to your dish like this. And kind of put a little extra water around so they're not going to stick too much. First of all, I'm going to put some greens. I like lots of greens in my summer roll so I can taste beautiful, delicious summer vegetables. And oh yeah. This is gonna be so good. This is my Thai chili sauce. I'm going to put some peanut butter sauce too. Kinda. See how creamy this is? How to roll this is, first of all, get your rice paper from your side. And kinda, it's kinda like kimbap, but roll it like this. Put all over to the front and grab right side and fold it this is kind of sticky and grab left side and fold it are you following me and from here you just roll it tightly and roll it roll it roll it <laughs> i'm going to cut it i'll show you how the looks like the inside part I think I kind of put some little too much stuff in it. But look at that. Isn't it look gorgeous? Make me dance. It's so good. Mm. Mm. This is so well balanced. Nice freshness from the vegetables. Big body. The banana gives you instead of the rice noodles. And the chicken, the egg, and the surprise crunch from the fried tofu. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And spiced tangy or the sauce, these two sauce holding everything together. This is way too good. One bite again. Mm. So good. Mm. Thank you for watching me today and this is Asian at home. I hope you liked my Vietnamese summer rolls and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching me today and this is no wow wow what's that? I'm rapping. Fun, 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 Friday, Friday. Thank you for watching me today and this is Asian at no what, what am I doing? Thank you for watching me today and this is Asian at home. I hope you you <laughs> good. Okay. It's Saturday. Party and party and yeah. It's Saturday, not Friday, by the way. <laughs>